Are you sensing something? Please, please? Lieutenant. Sorry, sir. Sorry. There is an emotional mist in this place. A residue of despair and hopelessness. Pain beyond belief. Here, an ache of anguish as tangible as brick. Oppressive. A passion to escape from life itself. Torment, death, and freedom to end it all. Oh, I'm sorry, Lieutenant. I, 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 I don't think I can get any more. Suicide? What a terrible, terrible way to die. That's the most incredible thing I've ever seen. To draw all that right out of the air. The atmosphere. The residue. Yeah. Suicide. So it seems. But it couldn't have been suicide. The emotional track was as strong as perfume. Why would a man commit suicide, sir? I observed him to be a broken man. Well, after his test with the Institute, well, his entire universe was shattered. After his lifelong claim that all psychics were frauds, well, he had nowhere left to stand. Well, that could explain suicide, sir, but what about this? Cabbage. Cabbage? And where do you see this? A three-pound corned beef. Corned beef? Corned beef and cabbage, sir. Why would a man go to the market and buy yourself a three-pound corned beef and pick out two head of cabbage, and then go home and cut off his own head. Well, he could have bought these things at any time, Lieutenant. You're right again, sir, but what about this? The receipt from the market. You see the time and the date? Do you see what I mean, sir? Yes, Lieutenant. Then I agree. We must eliminate suicide, as you understand suicide. Still, my impressions of this place are pain, despair, and hopelessness. Suicide has many modes. Sometimes, the victim can um, disguise it to himself, provoke an accident, and perish. An accident, Lieutenant. That's terrific sensing, sir. An accident that the victim wants to happen. Exactly. But it couldn't have been an accident. I don't think I follow. It's the screwdriver, sir. To the guillotine, please. It's the same screwdriver that we found in the victim's hand when we found him lying like this. Only without a head, sir. No head and a screwdriver can you see how the screwdriver is in his hand, sir? Yes, Lieutenant. I can see very clearly. Now, in this position, before the blade came down, the only screws he could reach were here. Right here. 
right here inside this track, sir. Like this, sir. But this screwdriver, this is just a regular screwdriver. What they call a slotted screwdriver for regular screws. But if you look at this screw, sir, you see here? You see that kind of screw? That's a Phillips head screw. That's a completely different kind of screw. And a Phillips head screw, that takes a completely different kind of screwdriver. Like this one here, sir. And we found it on the floor, along with a lot of other tools near the guillotine. Do you see the difference, sir? Do you see what that means, sir? What do you think it means, Lieutenant? Well, to me, it means that Mr. Dyson couldn't have had the slotted screwdriver in his hand, not when he died. What would he be doing with it? And it means that Mr. Dyson must have been working with the Phillips head screwdriver. And when he died, the Phillips head screwdriver, it fell on the floor like this. And here's the really interesting part. Somebody, somebody who was here, must have picked up the other screwdriver by mistake and put it into Mr. Dyson's hand, maybe to make it look like an accident. But it wasn't an accident, sir. That's what these two screwdrivers tell us. Well, if it couldn't have been an accident, Lieutenant, and it couldn't have been suicide, Are you intimating that Max Dyson was, um, murdered? Oh, no, sir. I'm saying straight out that the man was murdered. Because we have to consider this, too. When the police came, they found this part. What they call a collar. It was lying here like this. Way over here. And the land boys. They found strong traces of blood, Mr. Dyson's blood, on this collar. Which means that when he was killed, the collar was like this. And the murderer, would that be the same one that put the screwdriver back into Mr. Dyson's hand? And the murderer, he took the collar off and he laid it over here. So all of this would look like an accident, but it certainly was a murder, sir. But the newspaper said that the workshop was locked from the inside. Two doors, both locked. Ah, uh, yes, sir. The elevator door and the door to the stairs. Well, if that's true, and Max Dyson was murdered, how did the murderer get out? That is very puzzling, Mr. Blake. Very puzzling indeed. And I was hoping you could help us with that. Me? <laughs> how could I? Vibration, sir. Maybe what the murderer was feeling or thinking. Well, so far, Lieutenant, I seem to be picking up all the wrong vibrations. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't seem to have been very much help. Well, don't you worry about it, Mr. Blake. Now that we come this far, we're certainly going to find the murderer. And when we do, maybe you can help us by reading his mind. Just one more thing. <laughs> 